Once upon a time, nestled in the heart of a dense dark forest, there stood a forsaken relic of joy and wonder, Whimsyville Amusement Park. It had been abandoned for decades, but it was a place with a sordid history, one that whispered secrets to those who dared to tread its lonely paths. The park had been a place of laughter and delight, where children's dreams soared and adults recaptured their youth. But beneath the painted smiles and the colorful facade, there existed a shroud of eerie mysteries and strange happenings. Rumors abounded, legends were born, and stories of the unexplainable plagued the minds of the curious. The park's crowning jewel, Whimsy Wheel, was a Ferris wheel that had stood tall for over a century. Its rusted frame loomed ominously over the park, its squeaky, spinning contraption causing a cacophony that echoed through the trees. On dark and stormy nights, the wheel would turn on its own, its ghostly rotation visible from the nearby town. Amidst the overgrown vegetation, a decaying roller coaster named the Ghost Train wound its way through the gloom. Legend had it that on the anniversary of its closure, the spectral train would roll through the tracks, carrying phantom riders who emitted ghostly laughter. Then, there was Cursed Carousel, an ornate merry-go-round adorned with creepy hand-carved animals that were rumored to move independently. Visitors claimed that the music it played was a haunting tune that, once heard, could never be forgotten. Deep within the heart of the park, shrouded in shadows, and obscured by the thick foliage, was the mirror maze. Inside this maze of twisted corridors and reflective surfaces, whispers were said to guide those who lost their way, and some claimed they'd seen their own doppelgangers staring back at them. The Hall of Horrors was another attraction. In its gloomy chambers, mannequins took on sinister life, and visitors would swear they felt icy fingers trailing down their spines. The disembodied voice of a sinister ringmaster echoed through the halls, promising a show of eternal nightmares. At the far end of the park, there was a once splendid, now dilapidated theater, where Madame Le Fay's Phantasmagoria was held. It was a macabre puppet show, marionettes with hollow eyes that moved as if guided by invisible hands, enacting tales of doom and despair. On the outskirts of the park, a forgotten petting zoo was overrun with strange creatures. Three-eyed goats, black rabbits, and cackling crows that were said to whisper dark secrets to anyone who dared to approach. With each passing year, the sinister reputation of Whimsyville Amusement Park grew, and it became the stuff of local legend, a place visited only by daredevils and thrill-seekers seeking to confront their fears. Few returned unchanged. Among the many stories surrounding Whimsyville, one of the most infamous was that of Sarah Holloway, a paranormal investigator who had ventured into the park, determined to uncover the truth behind its strange happenings. With her raven black hair and piercing green eyes, she was known as a woman unafraid of the unknown. Sarah had been fascinated by the paranormal since her childhood. She had spent years researching the history of Whimsyville and the accounts of those who had ventured into the park. She had seen photographs and heard recordings that sent chills down her spine. She couldn't resist the temptation to explore the park herself. One crisp autumn day, Sarah arrived in the town near Whimsyville. She checked into the only inn, where the locals regarded her with a mix of curiosity and trepidation. She inquired about the park, and the innkeeper, a grizzled man named Hank, reluctantly shared tales of his own. He'd grown up near the park and had seen strange lights flicker within its bounds and heard eerie laughter carried on the wind. Sarah's investigation began that night, when the moon hung low in the sky. Armed with her equipment, a spectral analyzer, a night vision camera, and a small group of brave volunteers she had recruited from the town, she set out for Whimsyville. As they approached the park, the temperature dropped noticeably, and a thick fog rolled in, obscuring their vision. The eerie atmosphere sent shivers down their spines, but Sarah remained resolute. The volunteers, armed with flashlights, formed a tight circle around her. They entered the park through a shattered gate, and the rusty hinges creaked in protest. The night was still, except for the distant, mournful cry of a lone owl. The volunteers' breaths created ghostly clouds in the cold air. 
Their first stop was the Whimsy Wheel. It stood before them, its tarnished steel beams glistening in the moonlight. Suddenly, the wheel began to turn slowly, the squeak of its mechanism filling the air. There was no wind, and nobody was near it. The volunteers gasped in terror, their flashlights flickering. Sarah, undeterred, approached the wheel and reached out to touch it. Her hand froze as she felt a presence beside her, though nothing was visible. As they moved deeper into the park, the ghost train appeared, its spectral locomotive glowing faintly in the distance. It moved along the tracks, its wheels screeching in a macabre rhythm. The volunteers watched in disbelief as the train made its mournful journey, then vanished into the darkness. Next, they ventured into the cursed carousel area. The merry-go-round spun wildly, its eerie music crescendoing. The hand-carved animals appeared to move independently, their glassy eyes staring into the souls of those who dared to watch. The volunteers felt a cold, skeletal hand on their shoulders, and panicked whispers seemed to fill the air. Sarah knew that they needed to press on, no matter how unsettling the park became. She led her team to the mirror maze, where the flickering beams of their flashlights only served to disorient them further. In the mirrors, distorted figures lurked, reaching out with pale, spectral hands. The whispers grew louder, urging them deeper into the labyrinth. Exhausted and disoriented, they stumbled upon the Hall of Horrors. Mannequins with hollow eyes seemed to beckon them forward, and the voice of the sinister ringmaster echoed through the dark halls, promising a show of eternal nightmares. Terrifying scenarios played out before their eyes, and the volunteers clung to each other, trembling in fear. The puppet theater was their next destination, and as they entered, the marionettes with hollow eyes came to life. They danced and moved in eerie unison, their movements conveying stories of doom and despair. The air grew heavy with malevolence, and Sarah sensed an overwhelming darkness pressing in on them. They fled from the theater and found themselves in the forgotten petting zoo. The three-eyed goats bleated ominously, and the black rabbits scurried through the shadows, their eyes glowing with an otherworldly light. The cackling crows whispered dark secrets, and the volunteers could barely make out the sinister words. Sarah knew that they were in grave danger, but she was determined to uncover the truth. With her spectral analyzer in hand, she pressed on, hoping to capture evidence of the supernatural forces that gripped the park. Finally, they reached the heart of the park, the dilapidated theater where Madame Le Fay's Phantasmagoria was performed. As they entered, the puppets came to life once more, their strings moving with an eerie grace. The stories they enacted were nightmarish, and the atmosphere grew unbearably tense. Suddenly, the puppet show reached its climax, and the marionettes seemed to reach out towards Sarah. One of them, a sinister figure in a top hat and tails, extended its wooden hand, offering her a blood-red rose. Sarah, compelled by an irresistible force, took the rose and felt a surge of cold energy pass through her. The volunteers screamed for her to run, and she did, fleeing from the theater and back into the park. The once mysterious Whimsyville now revealed itself in all its sinister glory, a place of nightmares that defied explanation. As they escaped the park, the fog began to dissipate and the moon emerged from behind the clouds. Sarah and her team returned to the town, changed forever by their night in Whimsyville. In the days that followed, Sarah examined her spectral analyzer's recordings, hoping to find evidence of the strange phenomena they had witnessed. To her shock, the recordings revealed a shadowy figure in the puppet theater, a figure with hollow eyes and a sinister grin, a figure that should not have been there. The legend of Whimsyville Amusement Park endured, its dark mysteries more impenetrable than ever. Some believed that the park was a gateway to another realm, a place where the line between the living and the dead blurred. Others thought it was cursed, a dark stain on the land that could never be cleansed. Sarah Holloway, forever marked by her night in Whimsyville, continued her paranormal investigations, but she could never forget the chilling presence of the puppet theater's phantom figure. The abandoned amusement park, with its strange and creepy phenomena, remained a place of terror and wonder a place where the past bled into the present, and the mysteries of the universe whispered in the shadows.